Hello and welcome to the second tutorial in how to make Flash in or Minecraft in Flash 8. So all we have right now is um, a script that makes a bunch of blocks on the screen. And now we just have to make it so that it renders and makes a world. So the first thing we need to do is we need to make a new function called generate. And we invoke it and we make it generate and you might think it's weird that I'm putting generate before I actually make the function but flash renders it the same way it makes it do it no matter what and so this is the way we are going to make the script or this is the way we're going to actually script it make the world so here's the world pretend and we'll start right here that's where our first block will be it will render that one then it will go down to that one, then that one, then that one. It will go all the way down. Then when it hits here, it says, well, that's not on the screen. So, well, once this is all finished, we'll go up here again. Go back to the world height, or the last height. And then we'll do that one, then we'll do that one. And then we'll go all the way over here. And when it's at the very end, it will stop. So, we need to have a um, top of the world. That's where the grass would be. Top of the world, and we'll make it half of the world height, just so that it looks good. And then we'll have the first Y position, and we'll make that the top of the world. And we'll have the X position, which is zero. So, on our pretty thing, it'll start right here in the middle. It's not the middle of that. It'll start right here, and at the X would be right here. So it would be rendering, if I run the animation, it will be rendering right around here. I'll start there, do all those blocks, go back up, start, go, start, go, blah, 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 and we'll have a world. So we have an X position and a Y position. In the generate area, I'm going to make a while area, a while um, event and it's kind of like the for loop except it's a lot easier and you kind of do it yourself so whatever is in the brackets will happen if whatever's in here the condition is true in here so we'll make a condition if it's finished then it will stop so finished equals false it's not finished yet and while it's not finished which we do at the not symbol finished while it's not finished, do everything that's in here, which is make the world. Okay, so the first thing we want to do in our world is we want to check if it's at the very top. So if the Y position is equal to the top of the world. And if it is, we want to add dirt. So to add dirt, we have to make a... Um, we have to make an array that holds all our data for of a world. So we say var scene, and then we make it an array, and we make it a new array. That's simply what you do for the scene. And the scene is going to look something like this. It'll be like, it'll be a scene. This will be the array. Then inside of the array, there'll be many arrays. This will be the this first array right here inside of the scene will hold all the data for the first column. It'll hold all the data for... Oh, sorry. Um, what just happened is my while loop I have right about there. Um, I never finished it, so it's just going to keep going on and on and on. So what we can do to finish it real quick is say finished equals true, and it will render it. Anyway, so our scene, the first array in there, which would, which was what I wrote there, this is the first array inside of scene. So scene a normal um, array would just look like 
that and it would have stuff inside of it like butter and cups and butter cups but ours actually has arrays inside of it so that the first this thing right here is taking care of all of those the second one is taking care of all of these so it's an array inside of an array yay so our scene has to you have to now figure out that or thing <laughs> this program now has to figure out or to tell flash that um, the first the X position is now a new array that's all it's saying is that this scene the first item in scene which would be that that one right there that one we're just saying that it's an array that's all we're doing and now with all that confusing stuff I just said we can say scene then we can tell its X position and its Y position can I get rid of this now we can say it's X position and Y position and that's taking care of the first block that we have and we're telling it to be dirt and this is saying if the Y position is at the top of the world then make it dirt if it isn't on the top of the world then make it rock and now that we have it so that it figures out the top of the world and everything underneath we have to check if it's at the very end so if the Y position is less than zero if the Y position is after the bottom of the screen which there shouldn't be anything then what we want is we want the Y position to go back to the top of the world and we want the X position to move on to go to the next line and every time it does a, a block we want its Y position to add to one or minus one I'm sorry it's minus one so we want it to go down like that down and then we when it's at the very bottom it goes back to the top and goes down top and now all we need to check is if oops if the X position is greater than the width of the world world width then all we do is say that finished equals true we end it and let's just make sure there's no errors yes it goes right through and finishes um now we want the block type in our block we want this to go to and stop on the block we just made and since our script is so awesome all we have to do is say temp dot block type because temp is the um the block that we added and then it's block type we want it to go to and stop oops capital o go to and stop on the x and y that this block is on now since this isn't a number and we don't have labels we have to go into our block type select the rock we have and we're gonna make it into R we'll make this one into D for dirt so all I did was added frame labels so that we can access a block type just by using the scene um, and I didn't expect that to work so what we need to do now is figure out what's wrong <laughs> um, I always have something wrong so we could debug it by um, oh yeah all we need to do is we have to make sure that it's not a new ray every time so we say if scene x position is undefined so all we're saying is don't erase the scene every single frame we want it only to replace into a new array if it isn't defined and that'll make our first little land 
Um, I'll show you the script so you can copy it down. So we set all the uh, variables at the very beginning where the top of the world is and then the x position and y position. We make a while loop so that it creates the world and it doesn't stop until the x position is greater than the world width, then it will stop. And if the position, the y position is at the top of the world, add dirt. If it isn't, add rock. And then, then go to the next block. If it's at the very bottom, then add one to the x position and reset the y position. Then at the very bottom here, um, we went over this last one, what last time, but we just make a bunch of blocks um, covering the entire screen. Then we change its block or its type into the scene that we made. But this looks pretty ugly. I mean, no land is completely flat, so we need to add some slope. So we'll say slope equals zero. Just start it off by saying it's zero. And when um, the y position gets to the top of the world, we can just say right here that the top of the world, we can add or subtract something to it. So we can say plus equals slope. Now let's say for a second our slope was 1. Then the top of the world would be increasing. And it will go up like that. If it was negative 1, it will go down by 1 every time. If it's negative 2, then I'll be going down by 2. And that's really simple. So let's keep it at 0 right now. Now right here, um, we're going to check if it's... Um, we're going to change the slope. So right here we can say if... Or we can just say slope equals random 3 minus 1. So it makes the slope either negative 1, 0, or 1. And you'll see that it makes a jagged landscape. Perfect. Looks pretty cool, doesn't it? But what if the landscape is below the bottom of the screen? Let's say it is now. It looks pretty bad. I mean, now there's going to be errors in your script. So what we can do is we can say if the, um, the y position is less than the top of the world minus 20, or 10, that'd make more sense, then what we do is we make the slope positive. So we'd say equals 1. And it would, um, oh. Should do that every time now. Well, this is only because y position is less than zero right now. So we need to say if the top of the world is less than 20 or just 10, because we want it to be less than a certain amount of time. We'll make it go up. See, it doesn't go less than 10. Otherwise, it just bounces back up. And you want to do the same thing for if it's large, if it's high, if it's pretty high. So what we'll do is if it's greater than 30, then we do the same thing. And I'll just show you. Oh yeah, sorry, it needs to be negative. So if it's greater than 30, we want the slope to go down. See? Now we can be a little bit more crazy because now we have boundaries. So we can say slope is 5 minus 2, which would make it negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. So now we have more range of slopes. And now it looks pretty cool. And uh, that's the first tutorial on how to make terrain in Flash. You can fool around with the code I just made. Um, I'll have a download link on my website 
It'll be in the description. I'll have a download link to this exact file so that you can mess around with it and make some pretty cool stuff. And if you make something cool, take a recording of it and send it as a video reply. Please comment, and if you have any questions, message me. Watch out for the next tutorial that's coming up very soon, and it will show you how to make trees and how to make grass on top. And that is the end of tutorial two. Bye.